Boulder Creek Watershed is a really special place. It's a tributary to Flint Creek that comes out of the high country in the Flint Creek Range with cold, clean water, and it is a real stronghold for native fish, especially cutthroat trout and bull trout, one of the four places in the whole upper Clark Fork above the Blackfoot that even has bull trout still surviving. And that's one of the reasons the fish biologist told us when we first started working in the Flint Creek drainage that Boulder Creek is a key priority. And that's why we went there, and that's where we found excellent projects with good landowners where we could work with people who really care about this range. My name is Jeremy Mickey. I'm a project manager and field superintendent for a local construction company out of Granite County. My family homesteaded um, in the town called Princeton, which is about oh, two miles upstream from here on Boulder Creek. So I have a vested interest on, on Boulder Creek from both a uh, historical perspective with my family and as well as a current perspective. And I'm a really avid fisherman who tries to um, you know, do as much as I can to um, see the effects of some of these projects and some of the things that have been done on Boulder Creek in the past with uh, just kind of not really scientific methods, but with the fly rod. <laughs> Boulder Creek flowed down its old channel. 2011 massive flooding event up here on Boulder Creek. It took off across the meadow that I'm looking down, intercepted a pond, blew out a dam, and created an upstream fisheries migration barrier, but also a place where large trout could then hang out in a pond that would then be picked off by birds. So there were a, a lot of impacts to the local fishery that needed to be addressed. And so through that project identification process, uh, NRDP, working with our other partners, got an engineering firm on board um, and awarded to a, a local construction company here in Granite County. There's about $20 million allocated to the tributaries for direct fisheries restoration work like we've done here on Boulder Creek. And so we had these priority projects in Boulder Creek that all tie to getting fish out and down to Flint Creek and ultimately the Clark Fork River and then allowing those fish that out migrate to Boulder Creek, Flint Creek, and then ultimately the Upper Clark Fork River Basin. Watershed Restoration Coalition, Clark Fork Coalition with the NRDP had great partnerships, but the key in Boulder Creek Watershed, the key to success are the landowners. The landowners that we worked with there really dedicated to conservation, really, really in love with the land that they manage in that drainage, and that makes all the difference. Um, many years we had concerns because during flooding season it was taking out good um, dirt and pasture with the high water and making new stream through some of the areas which would take away from the pasture. Um, then we met Will and the groups he is working with currently and he told us their ideas and what they were trying to accomplish and we felt like they were very viable and wonderful project. We didn't have any second thoughts either. One of the things that I found super interesting was the way the willows were planted. Well, the very next year, they started sprouting. And it was just amazing to me to see it. And then to have the trees and the willows that were planted around the edges um, start growing rather quickly, um, we were pleased to see that happen as well. I'm Ole Olson. I am a fifth generation native Montana. We had a flood in 2011, a pretty serious flood. Uh, it actually washed out above, right on the edge of our property and came right through this valley bottom here and washed out everything, the trees, the fences, until it actually plugged the whole creek and sent it over here. So they had to dig out a ton of rock to put that channel back into its original position. 
And when I first saw what they did with the creek, I was just shocked. It looked so good that, uh, and obviously it's gonna grow fish. You know, the whole idea was to help the Clark Fork restore the fishery. Well, I think this did.